Finally to our top plays, this week's set a little different. We look back on every number one play from the summer months, combine them and rank them based on the best performances from June until now. So let's jump in with number five. Minot Metro's on the home turf and Hunter Horner goes out and meets the turf. A diving catch in left field to secure the out. Hunter hunting for a spot in our top plays and he lands at number five. Number four, Class B District Tournament. It's Garrison's Jack Bright lighting it up on the mound. How about 14 strikeouts in the game to lead his team to the district championship? The Titans go on to win the title and earn a spot in the state tournament. To number three, Josh Coling ending his high school career on our top plays. Highway robbery in right field, and why not make it two? Coling doubling up the runner at second, showing off the QB arm out there in right field and securing play number three. To number two, Parker Hahn pitching for the Metros, and Hahn has hands. Leaping off the mound for the catch, breaks out the cannon and guns the guy at second to make it a double play. Not very often you see the pitcher going all out like that, but Hahn's extra effort pays off. And my top performance of the summer goes to none other than Michael Foggerland of the Bismarck 15s. Tosses a no-hitter in the Midwest Plains Regional Championship, 11 strikeouts to help his team clinch a spot in the World Series in Texas. Just doesn't get much better than that. The 15's heading out tomorrow to Texas, so we'll be keeping an eye on them. All right, thanks, Luke. Some pretty awesome plays there. Stay tuned. Coming